Hello people, this is Seltuts and in this video we are going to solve a problem that is count all such bits in a number which means that in the binary representation of a number we, we want to count all the set bits which means that where the value is equal to 1 and this we are going to solve using masking and right shift approach using a bit manipulation algorithm. So this is solution 2 we have already discussed a solution 1 related to it by using a while loop and in this video we will be solving same particular problem using masking and right bit algorithm method and it is one of the bit manipulation algorithm. So first I'll explain you the problem statement that what is the problem statement all about and how we are going to solve it. So we have been given a decimal number and for that we'll see the binary representation of that. So we are having the decimal number as 10 and the binary representation is 1010. For the number 15 we have binary representation as 1111. And for the number 50, we are having the binary representation as 110010. Now, we need to find the number of set bits. So, in the number 10, we are having the set bits is equal to 1 here and 1 here. So, the total count is how many? 2. In number 15, we are having 4 set bits. And in number 50, we are having 3 set bits. For solving this problem, we will be using masking approach and right shift bit manipulation approach. So before solving this problem, we will discuss some basic concepts that are needed to solve this problem. So the first thing is what bit operation and the bit operation that we are going to discuss is the AND bit operation. So AND bit operation says that if you are doing an AND between two bits, so the bit can be either 0 or either 1. So because we are doing binary representation of a number or the binary system contains only two numbers that is 0 or 1. So the bit can be either 0 or either 1. So if you are taking a AND between 0 and 1 then it will give us the value 0. So what does AND say? AND says that the AND between two bits will be equal to 1 if both the bits are 1. So I will again explain. I will again repeat it that the value of AND between two bits will be equal to 1 if both the bits are 1. So here in this case the first bit is 0 and the second bit is 1 so the AND operation will give us 0. Same way if we take AND operation between 1 and 1 then this will give us the value of 1 because both the bits are set. So if both bits are set then only we will get the value equal to 1 by doing a AND operation between two bits. So first concept is this. Now the second concept is what? Right shift operation. So if we take a binary representation of a number or if you take any number and we do a right shift. So right shift is represented by these two angle brackets which are pointed to the rightwards. So if you do a right shift by one on this particular number then this will give us the value 101 which means what? It will discard the last bit or the least significant bit. So again I will explain it that if you are doing a right shift, of, right shift operation on a number then the last bit of that number will be lost. So we are doing one right shift that means we are getting 101. If we, if we would have written here 2 then we would have been left with only 1 and 0 because we did 2 right shift operation. So this is another concept. So same way if I take this number that is 1111 which represents number 15 then if I do a right shift by 1 then the remaining number will be equal to what? Triple 1. So we will use these two concepts to solve the problem for counting the number of bits in any given number. So for that let's say I am taking the number 1010. So this number 1010 is what? This number 10. So this 1010 and I am masking or I am taking an AND operation with 1. So what does internally computer will do? It will map this particular 1 as its binary representation and the binary representation of 1 is equal to what? 1 preceded by any number of zeros based on the bit size of your computer. So here the number is 1010 and we are doing an AND operation with 1 which is equivalent to 0001 and the output will be what? If we take 0 and 1, so since there is 0 here and 1 here, so for AND operation to be equal to 1, both the numbers should be 1. But here it is 0 in 1, so the value will be 0. Same for here, 1 and 0 it will give 0, 0 and 0 it will give 0 and 1 and 0 it will give 0. So the value will be equal to what? 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, now one thing that is important to notice here is that the AND operation with only 1 will give the last bit 
or the number as one if the last bit is equal to one because these three zeros are there so irrespective of the number which is present here or is irrespective of the bit that is present here these three will be always zero because the number here are zeros or the bits here are zero but for the last bit you can understand that if the last bit of the number is one then the value will be equal to one if the last bit of the number is zero then the value will be zero so we can identify or we can find what is the value of the last we will take another example where the last bit is equal to one so i have i'll take this example that is one zero one one here the last bit is equal to 1 and again we are doing an AND operation here with 1. So this will translate itself to what this because the number previous to or the bits previous to 1 will be equal to 0 0 0. So here in this case the output will be what? Output will be this because these three bits are 0. So the AND operation with any bit either it is 0 or 1 it will be equal to 0. So these three will be 0 but the last bit here that is the masking bit or the mass number that we are using is 1 so the last bit is equal to 1 and here also bit is 1 so 1 and and operation of and on one bit that is 1 and 1 will be equal to 1 so the important point or the important concept here is that if we mask or if we take a and operation of any number with 1 then the number will be 0 if the last bit is 0 and the number will be equal to 1 if the last bit is equal to 1. So again I am repeating it. If you are doing an AND operation of any number, let's say any number with 1, then the last bit will be equal to 0 if the last bit in the number is 0 and the last bit will be equal to 1 if the number is equal to 1. Once we have found the nature of the last bit that is it is 0 or 1, then we need to discard it. Because suppose we have found that the last bit is 0, then again what we need to do, we need to find what is the uh, bit previous to that. So if we discard this bit, then we are left with the number 101. So again we will do the same operation of ending this 101 with 1 and this will again give the value with the last bit, then again we will discard it. So we will follow this concept that is here. 1010 0, 0 is the number once we have found the last bit nature then what we'll do we'll discard it and we'll get the new number as 101 so this i'm showing you as the bit representation but in the computer it will happen means you will take a decimal number and you will take a right shift and you will right shift that number by one then we'll get the remaining number so internally the number will be represented in this way okay so you don't need to calculate the binary first and then do the left shift or right shift so you only do the right shift on the decimal number and it will automatically be set inside the computer bits in that particular fashion which means the bit fashion so once we have calculated that the last bit will right shift right shift that number bit by one and we are left with the remaining number that is 101 same way we will do the process again and again until and unless the number is equal to what zero so when the number will be zero then we will stop our execution or algorithm execution because the number is equal to zero now and we don't need to take any or we don't need to perform any further calculation or any operation on that so same way for this if we take the number 1010 we'll do a right shift the number that will be left will be equal to what 101 so here the last bit was 0 here the last bit is 1 but after the right shift the number will be same because we are discarding the last bit so we'll try to code this in our eclipse id and then we'll check that we are able to find the number or not here also we'll maintain a count of bit uh, variable where every time we encounter a set bit will increase that by one so i'll go to my eclipse id here and this is my eclipse id i have already created a self java file and inside the self java file there is a main method which is the entry point of our application now the first thing is what we want to know the number what is the number so the number will be equal to 10 so i'll say int number is equal to 10 now once the number has been taken here will maintain a variable where the count of bits will be saved so i'll say int count uh, bits number equal to zero so initially i will set that to zero now what will happen i'll say a while loop is there because we need to perform same operation again and again so there is a need of while loop or for loop or any kind of loop so inside the while loop the condition will be what while number is not equal to zero which means until and unless the number becomes zero please run this while loop once the control goes inside the while loop what we are going to do we are going to 
mask the number or take a and operation of the number with one so what we are going to do we are going to calculate or we'll say the int masking number is equal to what one so one is the masking number and then we'll find the uh, value of last bit is equal to what we'll take the number and we'll mask it with uh, this masking number so we'll take a and operation with the masking number so what we are going to do we are going to perform this we are taking the number internally the computer will represent this 10 as binary but here what we are writing we are writing just the number and taking a and operation so this will give us either 0 as the last bit or either 1 as the last bit depending on the bit that has been set so i'll take this one and of masking number i'll put a space here so it looks it looks good now the value of the last bit has been received inside this particular variable now what we'll do if value of last bit equal to equal to 1 which means that the last bit is set then what we are going to do we are going to say count bits number plus plus we are going to increase the value by 1 once the last bit value has been calculated and we have increased the value of count bits number by 1 then we'll discard the last bit because we don't need the last bit again because we have already calculated its value so we'll take a right shift operator so what we'll do we'll say number is equal to what take the current value of number and then right shift it by one so once the number has been right shifted by one the value will be changed if we take this example 1010 it will become 101 and we'll keep that value inside the number so we will replace the number with the new number by right shifting the current number finally what we will do we will print the number so we'll say system dot out dot print ln and then count of set bits so we'll say count of set bit so this is the variable first we'll take the number 10 and we'll see in our slide that what is the value of number 10 binary representation and this is number 10 the binary representation is this and it has two set bits so we'll come here and we'll run the program and we'll see that the value is equal to what 2 now we'll take 50 i will change the number here to 50 and we'll see the number of set bits so i'll run this program and the number of set bits it's how many three so in 50 1 1 1 here so 3 are there i will again take the value as 15 and this time the answer should be 4 because we have seen in our slide that the binary representation contains 4 bits so 4 is here and 4 is here so this way we have solved the problem so we have used two fundamental things or the basic things of bit manipulation that is bit operation of doing an and operation and a right shift operation so this was all about this video hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my videos and please share these videos with other people thank you